My upbringing was quite tough. Um, when I was quite young, my dad passed away. It was a very negative impact on me because I was only 13 years old. And I just had all this anger inside of me. And I remember just getting kicked out of one school to the next, always fighting, doing bad things, looking up to the wrong father figures. I would like to say my past motivates me because all I want to do is have a better future for my family. I've got two boys, two wonderful boys. The first born is Brayden, the second born is Arthur. But having a kid, your whole mindset changes. The moment a kid was born, so was a father, you know, so was a man. And that changed my whole perspective on everything because the way that little man look at me, you know, I'll do anything for kids and I don't want them to ever go through what I went through. I want to give them everything you know and the main thing for me is just love. How I got into barbering was actually quite funny because I started off as a hairdresser. One thing led to the next and I leveled up into a barber. I feel what makes a good barber is somebody that's really passionate and at the end of the day, you can go anywhere for a haircut, but it's that service that sets you apart. Did the person listen? Did they make you feel like this is worth it? So you start to feel comfortable with the person, and especially if they are regular, you do hear some crazy things, you know? From funny to personal to happy to sad. Like they say, your barber knows everything. <laughs> Trust, it is true though. Some people can't believe it, but on one side, you're making people look beautiful and you're putting all this love and on the other side you want to mess people up and break their face. <laughs> I'll always be a barber by heart and I can always go back to barbering but I just felt like I'm at that level that is requiring more of me and I don't want to be a journeyman. I want to be a world champ. So I'm sacrificing that lifestyle so that I can have more from boxing. I can definitely say my brother's been one of my, my biggest supporters. We have our ups and downs and fight, but he'll always be there for me. I'm all about passion at the end of the day. And when you find something that you feel like you're really good at and inspires you and makes you feel alive, then you give it your all. So when I do boxing and I train and I'm in that ring, I feel like I'm alive. And I feel like I can do better every day. I feel like it's me against me. And there's nothing better than that feeling knowing that every day you're working on yourself to be a better person.